I can kind of take you quick, like positionally, like on the mound, you know, the things that we're looking for, it's really four things you have to be able to do to be successful. You've got to be able to throw your fastball to both sides of the plate. You've got to be able to command two off-speed pitches in the zone that you can maybe throw in the zone behind in the count to, field your position, and help us control the running game. And pitchers that do those four things um, tend to be pretty successful at our level. Now, you know, of course, I didn't mention velocity, and velocity is a sliding scale. You know, the harder you throw, uh, you can maybe get away with a little bit some of your on the command side, or if you have some swing and miss off-speed stuff, you can maybe get away with a little bit less on the command side. But in, in generalities, those are the four things there on the mound. For the catcher, it's receiving first, you know, then blocking, then throwing. Everybody talks about the pop time. You know, you're going to throw the ball probably 5% of the time you're back there. You're going to receive it probably, you know, 85, 90% of the time. You have to be able to receive well. Um, you need some presence back there, you know, and obviously, you know, on the hitting side, you've got to be able to be a, a productive offensive player within your skill set. So are you a, a, a run scorer, a run producer, you know, are you driving in runs? Are you setting the table? You know, whatever you are offensively, being able to be, you know, fit into a team offense, um, you know, middle infielders, you've got to be super athletic. You've got to be smart. Um, you've got to have really good feet. It really starts with the feet in the middle infield for us. When I'm evaluating an infielder, their feet play them into a, a lot of good hops or a lot of bad hops. And you add or reduce the pressure on your hands when you can play yourself into a better hop. Your corner infielders, they need to be tough. Uh, they need to be physical. They need to be willing to use their body and their glove. Corner infielders are more of a one-handed defensive position. So they're going to be a little bit more unique there, where, whereas your middle guys have a little more time to be a two-handed defender. Um, those guys in the corner are probably going to be some more of your offensive guys. And then for us in the outfield, you know, it's, a, it's an athlete first. We're, we're certainly, as I mentioned earlier, we're aggressive. We steal a lot of bags. We play a, a very aggressive style. So we're looking for guys that fit that mold. Um, but then again, you know, the one thing that gets you in the lineup always – Back. is the stick yep. and if you can swing it you know there's ways to get you know to become a, an impact guy at the college level but there's only one dh you know there's only one first baseman and you know that that line and money ball that's so funny but also true when when you know they were trying to get hatterberg <laughs> out of retirement or whatever and they're like well we just want you to play first, first base like, it's easy yeah he's like tell him wash it's easy and he's like it's very difficult it's extremely right? hard <laughs> you handle the ball so much like it's a very tough place to play so you right. can't just stick any old you know bat swinger over there and hope they play good defense you know right. um defense at first base specifically is one of those positions when you have a really good one you take it for granted and then when they graduate and you get another guy in there, you're like, boy, that guy saved us a lot of errors. Yeah. You know, I didn't even really realize, yeah. you know, how valuable it was. Um, but that's kind of a kind of a you know a quick overview positionally, where we're looking. You know, what are the skills we're looking to identify? Yeah. You know, and and defense and hitting is also a little bit of a sliding scale too, right? Sure. Everybody wants the high level defender that's super athletic that rakes, yeah. right? But You've also got to kind of say, okay, this guy's a really high level defender. We got to, you know, come, he's got to come along a little bit with the bat. Um, you know, where do we project this player becoming? Um, if he gains some strength, gains some weight, cleans up a little bit mechanically, where do we project this pitcher? Okay, the delivery is clean and repeatable, but he's got to get a little more mass or he's got to get, uh, you know, develop a little bit better, you know, secondary command, and then he can be a guy for us. Those kind of things and projections a big part of it too. That was great insight because he kind of went through every position on the field and, and talked about what you guys are looking for and kind of the order that you're looking for them in. <laughs>